Welcome back friends, this is Dram here and it's 45th tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see a layout scroll pane. How to add and how to set the scroll pane. And how to add the elements into the scroll pane so let's start so as it's 45 tutorial on scroll pane so in this tutorial I'm going to add a table in the scroll pane So, uh, I am going to add the scroll pane after the declaration of table. So, scroll pane the speak was to new scroll pane. Fix the import for a scroll pane. Add import JavaFX scene control scroll pen. Now I'm going to add the table into the scroll pen. So scroll pen dot set content and we are going to add table into the scroll pen. Now next we are going to set the scroll pen dimension so sp dot set preferred size and uh, say width 200 600 and height 200 next we are going to set the h bar and v bar policy so sp dot set h bar policy and we are going to set it as needed we can we can set it is always as needed and never so it it will display a scroll bar for the scroll pane next sp we are going to set v bar policy and similarly here we are going to set as whenever needed now we have declared a scroll pane now we are going to add this scroll pane to the layout as we have added a table into the scroll pane we are going to add this scroll pane in your in our border pane layout so and scroll pane is in the po same position of table in the right side and the margin to the scroll pen so save this and run so this is the our scroll pen and this is the h bar h bar so whenever we have set the h bar policy whenever needed similarly for v bar but there is a no need of v bar policy here so it's not showing a v bar and as our table size is more than scroll pen so it's showing a h bar so next is it's a table is 
not showing the full height so we are going to set fit to the height in the scroll pane let's go and add here a speed dot set fit to height similarly we can set fit to height for a set fit to width also but there is no need to fit to width so save this and then once again and check whether it's fit to height or not so now we can observe that the table is fit to height of the scroll pen so this is the our table contents and that's our fit into a our scroll pen now next we are going to set h max and v max so sp dot set h max and we are going to set some value say 0 so whenever we set the h max to 0 h bar will accommodate all the scroll pane that is it will not the scroll scroll bar will not move anywhere just run this and check so we can see this when when we set the h max to 0 we can scroll this scroll bar and by default this scroll bar be, will be a 1 so when we set this to 1 it will show the default scroll bar width so this is the default scroll bar width so for a scroll pane so whenever the h max value is 0 it, the scroll bar will accommodate all the width of the scroll pane and when it is 1 so this is for the 1 and when we increase the value that is more than 1 it will add the more intervals like say I for a 3 so it will add 3 more intervals so we can see this the scroll bar width is decreased and it has it has added the more intervals into the scroll pane now next we are going to set h value similarly it will work for vmax and so next is we are going to set h value so h value represent the scroll bar position when we set it as a zero it the scroll bar is in the left side and when we set 1 or any other value it will be on the other side that is in the right side so by default it is in the left so when we set the h value to 1 it, it's going to move h bar into right side so run for game
so we can observe that the scroll bar is in the middle and when we increase the value of h to something else it will move to the left sorry move to the right so we can see that the scroll bar is in the right side so when we set the h value to 0 it, it is on the left side and when we increase the h value it will going to shift to a right side so i will set the to default value as 0 so So here we can see that whenever we set the h value 0 it is on the left left side and when we increase the h value it, it's going to shift to the right side and one more feature of the scroll pen is so if it is not necessary to visible the scroll pen content where we can disable this scroll pen so I can I will show you that sp dot set disable true if we don't need this scroll pen or scroll pen content into our layout we can set this scroll pen as a disable or we can disable this scroll pen so let's see the effect so here we can observe that the scroll pen is disabled but still it we can observe the table and the, these are the table contents but we don't need to disable this so I am going to set this as a false so here is the our scroll pen containing a table so, and one more thing, thing is we can add the elements directly to the scroll pen so for example table and disable this line we can directly add the children element to the scroll pen so save this and run So this is the our scroll pen with table containing. So this is the tutorial on scroll pen. If you have any question about this tutorial or a problem ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the rate gmail.com and Finally, if you really like my work, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next tutorial.